So, I'm in the car. Oh crap, I think this is the wrong street. This is the wrong street. I think so. But anyway, I'm in a car and for some reason it just dawned on me that I should vlog. Maybe I should be vlogging this whole experience. So I'm, I think I'm going the wrong way. So I'm on my way to the store to actually get the key because the manager, they had to take out a desk that the last tenant had left in the place. Um, so I'm on my way to get the key back from them so that I can start moving in. But I'm so excited to be finally having a store, a location. I will say that this was not on my list of things to do. Getting a store was not on my list to do this year at all. Oh, I'm going the right way. Let me see. Because I decided to go the back way. Yep, just the right way. This was not on my list of things to do this year. But when opportunities come, you gotta take advantage. And that's exactly what I did. I took advantage of the opportunity because it was just too good of an opportunity to pass up. The price, the location, the size is all that I needed. Did I go the right way? I'm sorry, and then the sun is in, the, in my face. And then I'm also, I also gotta go get Nala from school, so I'm really cutting it close, but I'm pulling up to the store now, and it's just like, ooh, the store is right by a school, and these people, I guess they waiting for the kids to get out of school, but this is like, jam hat, the buses, I don't know why I came this time. I was not thinking. Now I'm just stuck in traffic. So let me take you inside the place. I just pulled up. I only got a little bit of time. And let me just take you inside. the place so here we are this is the space this is the window and the door but this is the space you guys I'm too excited let me see because they were supposed to fix the lights okay they fix the lights and it seems like the heat is coming up. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna just turn it off and see if it makes a difference. Actually, turn it off. Oh yeah, I feel the heat. This is it. I'm too souped up. Too souped up. So I can't wait to decorate this place and make it my own. Ugh. Really gotta fix everything in here. It's a mess. But it's a start. You gotta clean it up and make it smell good and everything. Hey, see, this is the light over here. That's that light. And that's the light for the bathroom. But this is it. This is the new spot. Intense Beauty has its new spot. And I cannot wait to decorate it. I can't wait to put my signs on the window. And I just can't wait for 2022. Like, this is 
didn't like i said this is not something that i was expecting to do in 2021 but we here i don't sign the lease and now we here so we about to i just can't wait i can't wait for you guys to see the space turn from this to like what i got planned for it because i got some i got a lot of stuff planned for it and i just can't wait so this is day one this is December 20th, 2021. So this is gonna be a 90 day process. My launch, my, um, what you call it? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not launch date, but like my opening date, I picked March 20th, which is the first day of spring, March 20th, 2022. So, 3-2022, that is my gonna be my grand opening day. That's gonna be, I gave myself 90 days to get everything going. So now I am in, in the process of trying to get the certificate of occupancy because you have to get a certificate of occupancy when you get a store or yeah, when you get a store, that's what the sign person told me. So once I get that, he's gonna be able to put the sign on the outside and everything. Uh, and then I'm gonna look into alarms. So this is a process. It's not like you're gonna be able to just get a key. Then I gotta put a battery in that smoke detector. Then you you can't just get a key and think you're gonna move in. No, you have to get a certificate of occupancy. So I'm learning as I go and I'm sharing it with y'all. So December 20th today, 2021, and y'all just stay tuned for the rest of the process. Okay guys, so good morning. This is December 21st. This is the second day. Um, so I just took my daughter to school. It is 8.39 in the morning. Tuesday, December 21st, 8.40 a.m. I am on my way now to the municipal building in um, the town that my store is in because I have to get a, apply for a certificate of occupancy and that's what I'm about to do now I filled out the paperwork Dang, these car groups. I filled out the paperwork and now I'm about to um, <clears throat> hand it in and we are going to see about that process so once I get I haven't even um went and researched what I'm a, like I have an idea I've been on Pinterest and I've been looking at ideas and if you don't use Pinterest you need to use Pinterest because Pinterest helps you get like inspired and get ideas on how to do different things decorations content everything so I've been on Pinterest and I have like a, a, a Pinterest board of, of how I want like the inside to look but I have not been like figuring out prices and just like I haven't put much thought into it because I've been busy doing other stuff too so I haven't put much thought into it plus once I found out that I have to get this certificate of occupancy and everything depends on that because the fire department got to come do an inspection and then you got to hand a part of it to the police department and it's just a lot it's really a lot it's not like one two three get the key that's it you in you got to do all of this stuff so I mean, you can move in, but if somebody finds out, the state finds out, the city finds out, not state, the city finds out that you moved in and they don't have it on file, that your store is in their city, they can find you. I don't know how much the fine is, but they can find you. And I know it's not going to be an affordable fine. So, that, the only way I found out about this is because I went to contact um, a company to put us my company sign outside the store. And they said that they can't put that up until I get a certificate of occupancy. And then once you get their certificate, then you have to get go back to the city and get a sign permit. So you have to get approved for a permit. So it's just a process. It's a process. So he said he can't do anything until I get that certificate. So now I'm going down to get the certificate. And... 
yeah it's just a process so i'm just so ready to and then i'm doing other stuff like i'm just so ready to get this over with and like because the anxiety and the anticipation is just like because if they say no then i'm going to be i'm i'm going to be pissed but we shall see my mom said no my aunt said um they're gonna approve it and this this and that so we shall see i am not putting any negativity out into the world because what you put out to the world will come back so all good vibes all positivity all we all good all good so i don't know if i'm going to be able to record when i get inside the building i will try and do it on the low but i doubt they're going to um let me do that so i probably don't but i probably just record the outside and then that's all or maybe i'll try to like get like a voice recording so you guys can hear at least if you can't see of the conversation all right so when i get there i'll come back so this is the building we're going inside and then i have to go to the second floor so here we go So I don't have an alarm system as of yet. Um, so I check no. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Because what happens is that hey, we send this to the um, police department, and then they'll contact you. Anyway. So I don't have to send it myself. Because it says mail it at the bottom. That's if you had was going to send the ten dollars. Oh, okay, okay. So if I don't, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to put seventy-five on it. Okay. Now, question is, question is, when I get one, do I have to mail it or no? Because um, I, I am going to get one. You can contact the police department then. Okay. Get one because I think after a certain amount of times, if the alarm goes off. They might some you know find you, find you. yeah so mm -hmm. when we do these when i like excuse me but know what if you don't mind oh excuse me oh, no, you, you told you stop drinking when we left that night <laughs> <laughs> no i ate that um <clears throat> hot beef sausage oh my gosh if you don't mind fill this part in because even though you said you don't have one you can just put your um because I don't even know yet who I'm going to use. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I wouldn't fill it up if you're going to have one. No, no, no. I thought they heard some people had their address on there. It doesn't worry. I thought, you know what I thought it would say? It's probably on this side. Oh, yeah. This is where I sent to the police department. So don't mm -hmm. worry about it. Because okay. they'll probably contact you. And there's somebody over there that gets these. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they um, get in contact with all of the businesses okay. anyway. Okay. And if you have an alarm, 
they'll ask you for that information and give them the $10 and but not in the state the way it is. Okay. Anthony, can I steal that red? This one, I can get. Um, do you have this? Um, this is all the stuff. I mean, we'll take this and then, um, how long does it usually take? Well, first, it has to come to us for the zoning to make sure you can go in there. Okay, I'm starting at least a little bit. Yeah. But I'm going to use it as an office. Okay. And just. I, I have people come by to see the product. Okay. That's about it. All right. So um, we sign it, then I send you the fire department, okay. and they'll contact you and what number you want to call you on. Because the fire department is my business. You didn't need it. Yeah. <laughs> when it was a will, it was a will. Yep. So the holiday is coming. How long does it usually take? Like. That's the final part. Normally it takes, it don't take long once he signs it, the fire department contact you, but with the holidays and the fire, everybody being out, mm -hmm. so I don't know about the fire department. Okay, so okay. is this John Polygon? Okay. Um, Polygon? Yeah. Polygon. Next week they'll call you. Okay. Right. Yeah. You're welcome. Happy holiday. So, that's the process. I just put in my certificate of occupancy. And hopefully by next, oh, what is this? Lent. Hopefully by next week or the next two weeks, I will be having my certificate of occupancy. And then I will be able to start putting up a sign and start decorating. So, but it's Christmas um, this weekend, so everybody is going to be out and people are not worried about doing their jobs right now so i have to wait but we shall see wish me luck y'all wish me luck all right have a good day you too So we out. That was it. Next stop. I don't know. Now I have to go. So we're here at IKEA on December 24th, Christmas Eve. So I brought my mommy and my baby to come help me figure out how to put up the furniture inside of the store. So that is what we're doing right now. So just keep watching and follow us throughout the store. So, I don't know about you get this side or the long side. The long side is open. It's 74 inch What? I think you need to get the longer ones because you can space the wig heads out on the longer ones. I mean, you may need short ones too, but to position your wig heads, I think you should get all the longer ones and space them out. Well, keep walking. They're still not tall enough for wig hair, but you can use them for something else. Track lights on, like the the. Just pointing at different areas of the place. Yeah.
It can be painted. Painted? Yeah. It can be painted. Yeah. Either, it, probably either one. No, it's not. It's not, not at all. How much? Why not? Something to put in there. You'll figure out something to put in there. It's Christmas time. Now with COVID, they can't get this stuff. Not for that fall. Yeah, but can you put shelves in there? Because it looks like it's for hanging up clothes. Yeah, hang the, the bundles up here. The shelves are something different. Uh -huh. You know what? You can also, you know what you can also do here? You can also go to places, department stores that's going out of business, they're selling their furniture. You know what? Something like this, you're going to need. I think you're going to need something. You're gonna need a divider to um, for privacy. You never know. Somebody may want to try on a wig, and they ain't gonna to want to take their wig off in the store in front of everybody. So you're gonna need take a picture of that. Take enough that number. 
I was talking to Vanessa and she was, is what? Temporarily, temporarily oversold. <laughs> oh my God, but you're gonna definitely need one of those. You're gonna need a divider. Somebody ain't wanna try on a wig. They ain't gonna wanna pull it out, take their wig off in the store. So you, they can go behind a divider, put it on, come back out and look in the mirror. She was saying, you're gonna need a divider. And I said, yeah, she is. Come on, let's go downstairs. Catch the elevator downstairs. But yes, I definitely want a tree. Definitely a tree. Everything's coming along great. I got so many different ideas I want to do. Oh, maybe this is the price. But they don't tell you. Keep on with. These are real. These are real. Uh, yeah, cause I ain't. I am not. Yeah, and then you know these things so brittle. They break. 